Hi. Sorry to be so late. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. Hi. Hey, Sarah, why don't you go tell your mom everybody's here? All right. Thanks. Can I get you a drink or something? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. You relax. Uh, I'll do it. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Nancy. Hey. Hello, Max. Hey. How you doing? Well, well, the boys finally drifted off. Yeah, that story was really starting to get to me. I mean, I'll have to come back and see how it turns out. Oh, Mac, the kid's nose just keeps getting longer and longer every time he tells a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, back to the Griswold thing. Oh, jeez, pushy, pushy. Okay, I'll admit it's uh, it's tempting. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to pull out the big guns here. I'm at the office today and I get a call. This person says to me, I got a two week singing engagement at the Capitol Club. Well, guess where the Capitol Club is located? In Washington, D.C.? You didn't tell me! I just did. Oh, all right, all right, you got me. I'm gonna go. <laughs> but, but, I'm counting on you guys to keep the home fires burning here. These boys take the a boys, lot of the energy. The boys, the boys, the boys will be fine. We'll have Marilyn here by day, dawn by night. Mm. And I want you to remind Jason, when you get to D.C., you tell him we still haven't gotten a clear set of prints from that armored car. I just want to make sure you understand how much I appreciate you. I want to thank you for your patience and understanding. I know some of the things that Shannon said were a bit upsetting. Yeah, they were. That's why I stayed there. Because I wanted to make sure she understood that I loved you when I married you. And I love you just as deeply now. <sighs> Shannon, what I'm trying to tell you is I didn't marry Jessica out of loyalty or obligation. I married her because I was in love with her. Then and now. I see. Well, then I apologize for underestimating you. I should have realized you could never commit to something as serious as marriage without... Oh, Dirk, I'm sorry. I've been so selfish. I... I haven't seen how hard this must be for you. It's okay. You just take all the time you need to work things out. And I'll be patient. Because I know in the end, you follow your heart. You always have. Come on, Shannon, you gonna play cards or what? Um. What happened between you and Duncan? What'd you decide? Oh, uh, um, I, I don't know. He's a. He's in a really difficult situation with Jessica and Bonnie, and... You know, I know he loves me. I can feel it when we're together, but... I don't want to make things any more difficult for him or Jessica. They have a child together, you know. You've been gone for three years. Kind of gives them the advantage, doesn't it? What happened in Africa? Tell me, what happened to you? Well, I learned I was a survivor. Draw. That's it? You were a survivor? Then I'm gonna have to wait for the movie version to come out? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I will. Did Tom get everything straightened out with immigration? Oh, who knows? Mm. Ooh, I think that's gonna be a gift, but... So what are you going to do about this marital situation? You know, I'm just not sure. Now that Duncan has told me that he's in love with her. Maybe the easiest thing to... for me to do would be to just disappear and go poof. You know. The easiest thing? Oh, for you? No, of course not. You mean you would just run away like that? Uh, of course not. No, I know he loves me, and I know I can get him back. Yeah, well, I never thought you were the runaway type, you know? <laughs> you always seem very determined to me. The martyr bit doesn't fit you at all. Ah. 
Oh, well, you're right. You know, what would me dear old granddad think if he saw me giving up so easily? I mean, no O'Hara has ever run away from a fight, fair or otherwise. Thank you, John. And thank you, Jin.